Hi everybody, so here's another installment to my series of Valentine's projects. Um, not sure when you'll be seeing this part because this is for a swap. Actually what you're going to see here is for another swap. I um, am in a group swap. Well now it's not really a group swap, it's a one-on-one -on -one swap through CWA which is Crafters with Artitude on Facebook and I signed up not only to swap with one person but I also am an angel swapper and so I now am signed up to do two swaps so I'm swapping with two ladies on in that group and um, they're both going to be similar items but slightly different I'm going to be using the same papers and same type of things that I'm adding to it but one is going to be like this one here with all these colors and the other one I'm going to add a touch of black and red so even though there's red in here there's not as much um, I think the main difference is the touch of black so you're going to be seeing that in my project but I am going to be using the same paper line um, and what I wanted to do with this video is put together this um, we're going to call it a it's not an envelope because I made it from scratch so we're just going to call it a loaded pocket I guess we could call it I don't know a pocket would just be one pocket so there's two here we'll call it whatever you want to call it but it's like the size of the envelopes those um, big ones They this one is 9 by six because that was supposed to be the measurements you know in the group we had a few rules to go by not too many but just a few um so i decided to make mine from scratch the first one that i just showed you was it came out the way i wanted it but putting it together i kind of messed up here and there so i didn't record it um but here's the paper pad that i'm using and this is prima tales of you and me i found it at Hobby Lobby okay so these were perfect um, we all agreed on shabby chic and then we also agreed on a touch of black if it, you know if we wanted to or whatever so um, the one I'm gonna do here is gonna be with the touch of black so I don't want it to look exactly like this so I'm not gonna pick the exact same paper um, I might just move things around because I, I still want to use this floral one and I don't know how many floral actually there's a couple florals here maybe I'll use that one and then I also use solid paper to do my sides I really like that look of the pattern paper and then solid on the side so I had picked the pink out of this pack which I found at um, Hobby Lobby I believe yeah paper studio so I had this for a little while did I or did I just get this I think I just got this one. It's the pink cardstock pack. So I picked that lightest one there. We'll get to that later. Um, and I'm going to keep this one by my side because I always mess up with this accordion part as far as how many, how wide to cut it and the folds to do. Just, I don't know why I always mess it up. So let's pick the paper which is what i like about this pad is they give you quite a bit of the same pattern but they're not too many patterns although it is um two-sided as you can see here it's double-sided so here's the one pattern that i kind of like here i like this one so we're going to start with that and maybe we'll do the whole thing with that let me see what else there is in here um there's this pattern too That's the one that I already used. Yeah, I don't know. Um, I kind of like the bot, the the sides of this one. So let's just pick out this too. So this is what I'm talking about. I like this. This would be nice for the bottom part. Also, keeping in mind that this is what you're going to see on the inside. Not it doesn't really matter too much, but. I am going to be seeing this on my inside here, this part, and then back here. But it's not a big deal. At least it still matches. All right. So let me um, put 
put this aside and okay what did I do last time okay what I did let me put that one aside for now is I cut my six inches in length so that's half of this that gives me the width that I need and get and these are going to be together. But now what I need to do is cut one. Last time I cut both the same length. I only need to cut one nine inches, which is the, let me double check. I'm making sure. Yeah, that's nine inches. So one of them is going to cut down to nine inches. <clears throat> The other one, I'm only going to cut like part of it because I want to make a little flap. I'm going to keep this for later. Okay, so what's going to happen now is I'm going to cut this other one, this 12 inch one down to, I'm going to give it an extra inch. So I'm going to cut it to 10 inches, right? And what I'm going to do with that last inch is I'm going to fold it over. Let me um, show you what I mean. And I don't like to cut everything out all at once. I like to just cut, glue, cut, glue, cut, glue, so I don't have everything out. Because you, know, you start running out of space on your table. And then I personally cannot work with clutter. So take your longest one and score... Um, at nine inches. So you're going to have this little one inch flap here, which you're going to fold over. And that part, you're going to glue to this. And you're going to get this little opening here. So we'll just do that now. And I'm going to use wet adhesive. Um, Usually I like to use this glue and I haven't gotten any refills yet. But when I know I'm not sending out something right away and I let my project sit here until they go out, um, any of the glue runners or glue or tape, um, the tapes and all that, any that I get, no matter how strong it is, here in this room, it's really humid sometimes, it just gets undone. And since I'm putting pressure with a lot of stuff in here, um, I'd rather just use this now because I know I'm not going to be shipping this out right away. It's going to sit here for a little bit before it actually goes out. So I've never had any trouble with this glue as long as it's paper, not a shiny, glossy paper. Um, never had any problem with this coming apart. And this one I will show you is Scotch Quick Dry. So we're just going to go ahead and put the two together evenly I'm gonna open it up get my paper towel here use my little bone folder just to get all that glue to spread evenly and go out to the edges oh that's just so <laughs> do it here again Okay, so now my two pieces are stuck together, and I have the beginnings of a 9 by 10 no, I'm sorry, 9 by 6 envelope. Alright, so we're going to put that aside and work on the pocket part, which I'm going to do a similar technique for this, where I'm going to have a little flap, and the paper that I wanted to use is this one here. So I want this on the bottom. Um, let me see. I'm probably going to be doing a floral arrangement on one side. So, I guess. Well, I'm just going to cut the last pocket. I want a nice tall pocket. Where's my ruler? I'm going to measure that. It is, it's four and a half inches. 
So an extra, I'm not going to make a full inch, but I'm going to give it an extra, I think I'll do five inches. And then that half inch I will fold. So I'm going to cut my width to five inches. Put this to the side. And then I'm going to cut off here real quick this part. And then I'll measure what I want there, which is a six inch, six inches, the same width as my envelope. Okay, and then I'm actually not going to be able to do what I want to do because I'm going to lose half an inch on the bottom here. Well, we could do the flowers on the top. That'll work. Because what I was going to do, see how things, the way this works out, because there's not that any more pattern down here. I was going to fold this, but I was going to lose some of my flowers. Let's see how much of it would I lose. Or maybe I won't lose too much of that. Half an inch. Nah, I'm still going to do it. I want that pattern on the bottom. It's only half an inch. So we're just going to go ahead and go in half an inch this way on the bottom. No big deal. I missed some of my flowers, but I still got floral down there. And that will go here, but I'm not going to put that on yet. I'm going to wait. Whoops. It will go here. I'm going to put that to the side and do my, um, what's it called? Yeah. The accordion. And let's pull this paper out. I'm gonna do the same thing this time. One, two, three, four, five, four, okay. <laughs> I just want to make sure where I have to cut this before I mess up. What I'm going to do is mark everywhere. Well, not everywhere. One, two, three, four, five folds. So let's see. So one and a half inches, I think. We're going to test this out. I'm going to cut one time, try it out, and see if that's right. I always screw this part up because I need to have enough folds to do that accordion thing. So let's, um, where my cutter go? Let's try this out. And that I said was one and a half. Two, three, four, five folds. And we will test that theory out. Hopefully I'm right. I might need an extra piece there. I don't know. I'm going to go ahead and cut off the extra here. The length. Oops. I'll do that. The length was 9 inches, but I like to make it shorter than that. Like a, uh, was it a half inch that I did on my other one? It was about a quarter of an inch shorter. Okay, now we'll try it. Let's get that extra off. Let's see if this works. Should be five folds. It's just hard to two, three, four, five, and that's on every quarter inch. Okay, so I got that marked. Let's see if I did this right. 
start folding your mountains and valleys back and forth and you should end up with two flaps going in the same direction that's where I always screw up and I think I did it right this time <laughs> I did it right and you can add more to this if you want to make a wider this part here to open up wider just add two more quarter inches so another half inch again you have to end up with two flaps going in the same direction so the two flaps will go inward into your pocket and it'll open up here in these three so that was five folds so I'm gonna cut another one now that I know I did it right and that's an inch and a half I believe I'm gonna double check with this inch and a half inch and a half cut off just under nine inches about a quarter inch away okay and back to my folding board I mean scoreboard okay <clears throat> It's hard to score these thin pieces. Okay. I'll need that again when I do the shorter one for the front pocket, but same thing. In and out. And you can make these wider instead of a quarter inch. You want to do the folds like a half inch, you could do it. I just kind of like that. It's just for a little extra expansion, you know? All right, so now we're going to add this to our paper here. And again, I'm going to be using my wet glue. You could use your tapes if you have a thin quarter inch tape. Um, now remember, we cut this a little bit shorter then the nine inches so I'm going to put my edge to the edge of my top of what would be my pocket or envelope so let me glue this with the flaps going in that way I might get seepage, but I'd rather have enough glue to hold everything. Again, make it the edge to meet the top edge. And all even. Sorry, I'm hitting my camera again. So... And I just like to keep paper towel handy. Now I'm going to go in with my bone folder and press it all there, all in there. So I know the glue has spread and it's holding on. And then I'm making my fold more crisp. Okay, so that's one. And we're going to add the other one. Same thing with that one flap going that way. And top edge to top edge. Place it down carefully and evenly. Just scoot it over. You do have a little bit of time 
to move it around. You want to make sure you get any excess off because when you put the top back down, you don't want it to um, stick to the other side, the other flap. Okay. All right, so now we're getting ready to bring down that flap on top of these two here. So I'm making sure that these guys are kind of in a little bit. So it'll grab when I bring this down. And here's the reason why we went a little shorter here. So that when you bring this down, it'll close right and it doesn't kind of get jammed and stay like it might stay like this. Oh, trying to show you that it might not close like this where it's nice and flat. All right. <clears throat> Let's do this. So you're going to be gluing both sides at the same time. So you're going to have to kind of work quickly here. And make sure these kind of go in. You know what's not cool? My husband's in Puerto Rico visiting his family. And he's sending me pictures of the food that he's eating. And, I'm, you know, I just ate some soup from the supermarket. And he's showing me, like, fried pork and you know the Puerto Rican dish if you if you know about Spanish food and Puerto Rican dishes you know what I'm talking about all the sides and stuff that's not cool <laughs> show me after the fact at least don't show me while you're over there enjoying yourself and eating like a pig you know I'm not about to cook just for myself so I would I just you know get something from the store because I had to pick up stuff anyway from the grocery store. Um, so just quickly you bring it down. And it, it kind of goes evenly on its own. But if it doesn't you can just maneuver it. Okay so I'm going to flip it over. And do my thing over here. Wipe any excess. Do the same thing here. I'm going to get my longer one and try to get it in there on the inside a little bit, as much as I can. Okay, and then one more time, make sure it's all down. Alright, so now you see you have a envelope pocket, whatever you want to call it. Somehow I made this one shorter than this one. Oh well. I don't know how I did that. But it still works. Now we're going to work on the pocket. And it's pretty much the same thing, just shorter. So where did I put this? Okay. Put that to the side. And I think I could just cut off strip this way. I'm going to be able to use my little cutter here. I'm not going to make a measurement. This was what? Four inches? No, four and a half. Alright, so it's four and a half. I'm just going to cut it over here. So this, this last one I'm not going to measure, but you can. It was four and a half if you want to go and do four and, what is it, three quarters? Four and a half, four and a quarter, four and a quarter. It would be four and a quarter, but this little cutter doesn't go to four and a quarter. So I just marked it. And I'm going to take a double... It's still a little shorter. Okay, that's good. I'm just going to do four and a quarter. In length. And I'm going to put this. I guess I'll put it there. So that is 
this length so now I need to cut this way which will be that was an inch and a half that I remember it's going to be the same as the other one with my inch and a half and a half and another inch and a half hope I did that right <laughs> I always second guess myself all right guess we'll find out so we do the same thing in every quarter inch Should be five marks. One, two, three, four. Yeah, it's five. And the other one. I gotta say that this Hobby Lobby paper, this cardstock, is pretty thick. It's probably one ten pound weight. Um, I really didn't think it was gonna be that thick, but it is. All right. Um, let's put this to the side. I'm going to glue this down now. Same way as I did the, um, this part. And we're going to put that down. Wet glue. Oops, why is it laying down? And, see, this time I did it the way I wanted to do it before, but... Second time's always a charm, right? All right that down and I want to make sure it's all even okay so we have this flap now, which is going to turn into your pocket. I just want to make sure it's down good. Because this that is in here, if it doesn't stick right, when you want to insert stuff, you know, it could get caught on that. But that's why I did a, um, is that a shorter... What do you call that? Flap there. So it shouldn't be a problem. Okay. So now we're going to fold these guys. Do your mountains and valleys again. This one's a little bit easier because it's shorter. So yeah, hubby's sending me pictures already, and he just got there. That's his first meal, pork, fried pork and yucca and whatever else they have over there. I'm not familiar with all the names of their stuff in PR, but I've had it before because I've been there. So yeah, and I'm sure he'll be sending me more pictures throughout the week. Not cool. The good news is I checked my weight, and I lost six pounds either six or eight pounds because I forgot to write down my weight the last time I checked and I just know it was around six to eight pounds so I'm really happy about that even though I haven't really started working out I've actually been walking more um, been parking further away from wherever I go like work and all that and I've just been like moving more you know getting around even in here in my craft room I might be crafting sitting here but I'll get up and walk around and start doing things standing up and stuff like that all right so we're going to do the same thing that we did with this part and just glue everything down again <clears throat> all right going to glue this part here but this time instead of gluing it to this i'm going to glue it to this flap up here again with this little flap going inward putting my edge to this top edge here
and press it down. This is really pretty. I love the way they did this. I love this paper. And I'm glad I'm using it and not letting it sit there. I've got so many pads that I haven't touched. And that's been sitting there for a little bit, so I thought I would just go ahead and use it for these uh, Valentine projects. So now we're going to do the other one. Same thing. Okay, and now bring these in a little bit so that you can bring it up and adhere it to the top. Okay, and this one's going to be a little tricky. I'm going to try and close these a little bit and then go like that and then just kind of push it in so it's all even <clears throat> I think I got a little seepage in there we are good. Make sure that I'm not sticking right there. So that's pretty much that. There's the base of the basic um, pocket and I'm leaving see these empty holes right there so that it kind of just turns into a nice point over here. And it's going to be nice and secure. You can see already I'm pulling really hard on this and this is not going to come apart. I'm not going to try here because it's still drying. So I shouldn't have pulled it. Actually, I'm going to put some more glue because I pulled it too soon. <laughs> this one here. There. Don't want that to come apart. Okay, so the next thing that I'm going to do I'm going to cut here so that we can get this look and let me get some scissors and try to get this even it's six inches. This is the last time I didn't measure this, but this time I'm just going to go ahead and use my ruler just so I can get in the middle. At least around there. And you're going to cut. You could rip it too instead of just cutting it, but I just lose, use my uh, scissors. And I'm not going to go all the way down. So you can kind of see where this pocket is. Only because when I curl it, I always like to add a little something here at my point. And now we're going to grab something like... Um, I'm just going to grab this pen. And I'm going to roll the paper around my pen carefully. I don't really want it to completely give me a crease. I just want to roll it. And I stop here and just kind of turn this part as to not to tear that little corner there. Even though I always end up tearing it. I didn't tear it this time. That's good. So what I'm doing is kind of um, maneuvering or 
breaking down the fibers actually of that paper and kind of just going around my pen. And over here I gotta go this way. Yeah, it's better. All right, so now I have that. And actually, this doesn't look that bad even though it's like cutouts. That actually looks pretty good. So let's see if I manage to get it about the same. Yep, same size. Cool. Came out just the same way. Awesome. Okay, everyone. So um, I'm going to stop and then I'll be back with the embellishments. I know you all want to see that too. Um, but this is the basic part for anyone wanting to try to do this. And you embellish it however way you like. On the last one, I added a pocket back here. Actually, let me do that now. Because the other one, I added a pocket. Which I didn't really show you. It's right here, so I'm going to throw a regular flat pocket pocket there. Let's see if I can use one of these. I think I will use, because this is big enough. I think I'll use this one. Let's see how tall it was. I want to kind of keep that flower so okay I'm gonna cut it at this line and I do have to ink this do I want to ink this one I think this one I'm not gonna ink I'm gonna leave it like this the other one I inked um, for a different look since I am gonna add gesso anyways what size is this I have to cut it down to six. I'm trying to avoid to use my big cutter. <laughs> and this one, I'm going to cut at that line there. Okay. And. will be a pocket right there and this I simply just put a line of glue on three sides and put it down can't even get a straight line You could do this part before you add the other pocket in front. I'm getting glue everywhere. Okay, now I got my back pocket, and this is a good place where you could just add a tuck in like a card or something, and that way you don't have to put everything here, or maybe like um, some of the cutouts from the collection. I did have cutouts left over that you can always tuck in there, or you know, whatever you like. I like to do like the card. Let me clean this up. All right, so I'm gonna be back. Because I haven't pulled out what trims and stuff I want to use. But um, I've got this stuff here. This is that Party City container. So I'm going to try to stick to using these items instead of pulling out new, new stuff. I'll be back. <laughs> 